whilst it's unusual to have a, a one to one laptop program in year four, uh, we chose to have that start then uh, because it sits seamlessly with our BYOD program. We used inquiry based learning in our classroom because it's a one to one laptop classroom. We have the luxury of children having that access to the greater world rather than just our chalk and talk type lessons. And we found that by creating problems, the children were more engaged in their learning and, and learnt a lot more than what they could ever learn by me standing at the front of the classroom and talking to them about um, content. We came across Turnitin program uh, through the um, past school technician and he said, you know, have you seen this? We had a go at it and we thought, yep, yeah, it's suitable for upper school. But then as we started to play with it more, we realised that it was going to be useful for the uh, middle primary school level as well. The Turnitin program, the thing that we like the most is it's very, very user friendly. The help desk and things have make it, made it so easy for us to transition it and we teach nine year olds so if they can master it then anyone can master it and as teachers and we're all time poor, we're now finding the more au fait we're getting with the functionality on Turnitin, the quicker we're getting with marking, with providing feedback, with setting up assessment tasks and things like that. Uh, when Belinda and I first discovered Turnitin, uh, we you know, discussed it and then once we saw the benefits of it, um, we asked the principal if we could just trial it and see how it would work. Turn it in, from my understanding initially, before we started to use the program, I knew it was being used in secondary and tertiary settings. So when Bell and Dave came to me and asked about using Turn it in, one of the misconceptions that we had to work through was how is a year four class or year four classes going to use this program effectively? Some of the things that we've seen come out of t using Turnitin is that our students go through a, a prototyping process. It's not just drafting. It's not as simple as that. It's a prototyping process where they're getting feedback that's immediate and they can respond to that feedback very, very quickly as opposed to having a lag time in waiting, as well as being able to give each other feedback. So we have students that, if you were to test them, this is earlier this year, they may not have come out with the best results, say whether grammar and punctuation could have been the focus of um, particular generic structure that they're working in, yet they were able to give feedback to their peers that they weren't necessarily seeing in their own work at that point in time. Um, so there's been multiple benefits that, um, again, have enriched and strengthened the learning cycle for our kids, which is what we're always about here. Uh, we didn't anticipate that children this young would get the benefits from the program that we've been seeing throughout the year. Turn it in, the fact that it allows you to submit in so many different formats, um, I think is, is a really big plus for us in this classroom because in a primary school environment we're trying to, to expose them I guess to as much um, ICT type knowledge as we can so that they hit the ground running in secondary school. So the fact that Turnitin allows them to submit in multiple formats, it doesn't all have to be Word or PDF or something like that, that they can submit in different formats which means that they can submit their work in a way that's meaningful to them, not in a way that is meaningful to me. My favourite part is um, seeing the feedback that the teachers give you. Um, it's great that when we get an assignment and we say to them this is the information we want to see and we get Excel documents or we get PowerPoints or we get a PDF for a word or the children have found a way to put it together to show their knowledge without us putting the boundaries on what it should look like or how it should be and Turnitin allows that freedom. No, oh, We love Turnitin uh, simply because there's so many functions that, that um, help us in our teaching. Um, one of the things we really love about Turnitin is the iPad app. As a mum as well, not just a teacher, I find myself often at sporting fields or cheerleading competitions and, and you know, with time to spare and rather than having a bag of books like you see most teachers do, I sit there with my iPad and I'm marking children's work, I'm providing feedback and seeing that my children are then able to log in and see it as well in real time, which they do on the weekends or once they're home from school. So the fact that I'm giving them that feedback regularly, easily, quickly. I like the text comment to see what you need to improve on and how good you are in the audio. Um, the fact that it synchronises, so as soon as I'm back into a Wi-Fi zone, it'll actually pick up the marks and things and put them back out onto the server for me. So just that convenience of being able to do it anywhere while I'm having a coffee, anything like that. It's really good.